morning and welcome to Vlogtober Day. I should really look at this before I start these. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to o October. Welcome to October. <laughs> welcome to Vlogtober Day 15. I just took Windsor on his morning walk and I'm headed over to check on our friend Rosa's dogs, Loki and Liney. They need someone to check on them today, so I'm heading over there to let them out and to just like say hi to them. It's been a little bit since I've seen them. Hi! Hi! Oh my god, guys, what do you have? Hi, Liney! Hi! 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 <laughs> what are you doing? You seem so relaxed here and content, and I think you do this often. This often. I just know that Nimbus is gonna be up on my table and he's gonna get hair all over what I just cleaned. <laughs> These are our options. We have like a chocolate cake and a classic yellow. I do think I wanna go for the classic yellow. Hey Nim, please stop. So we have our zero sugar yellow cake mix and I need to get a bowl and some things for measuring and it has instructions for how to make cupcakes so that works out. I'm gonna preheat the oven to 325 now. Another thing that we also have is zero sugar frosting so I'm gonna grab that. These things, gonna grab a bowl. Where the heck are the eggs? Oh, they're right here. They are right here. Eggies, oh, a third of a cup. There might be a third of a cup in here. A cup of water. All right, so it's just really putting everything together. So I guess that's what we're gonna do. I seriously love discovering things like these. John and Diane actually found these. It's very exciting to be able to reach for something to bake and not have to have it be like completely and entirely made from scratch in order for me to have like homemade sugar-free cupcakes, like homemade, but like made at home, not have to like search for it in a store or a bakery. Oil. This looks like custard. I, I meant to record all of mixing that and I realized when I was done that I hadn't been recording at all. It looks like custard. Let's put it into some muffin tins. <laughs> Ooh, we've got some stripy ones in here which remind me of Beetlejuice. So we're gonna use these ones. Like 21 minutes. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna put the rest of the batter into this waffle maker. It's probably gonna ooze out everywhere, but we'll see how it cooks. I mean, it looks pretty good, but I'm gonna cut into it and see if it's just completely batter on the inside. Hmm, no, nah, it looks pretty cooked to me, actually. Oh my god, this does not look good. I mean, maybe like a couple more minutes. I do fear that I may have overfilled them. So I don't I don't know if they're gonna cook fully through. I might not decorate them in this video either. <laughs> I don't know that I'll have enough time. I need to start editing the video and I need to let those cool slash hope that they're not raw. This baking segment might be a two-parter. They do seem like generally firm. I don't know, I don't know for certain. I'll give it some time and see how these set. But for now, I'm gonna go start editing and let these cool. I think 
the good thing about making cupcakes is that the top is not really visible because you're probably putting frosting and maybe decorations on it, so. Cupcake bases. <laughs> they seem honestly okay. Maybe this one at the top looks the most questionable. So let's open it up and see what we've got going on on the inside. I mean, I would say that's perfectly fluffy and cooked all the way through. So with these mixes, even if you do fill it above halfway, if you cook it for the full recommended time, it will probably still cook fully through. I, I don't think that I have time or energy to decorate these right now, but it was super fun to do the baking process together today. You'll have to watch tomorrow's video to see the full decorated, completed cupcake. Nimbus wants to say hi. Hi. He can be up on this table now because I'm done baking for the day. At least for this part of the day. Thanks for baking with us. Goodbye. Do you see yourself, Nim?